International Math Olympiad 2015, problem 5. Determine all real valued functions f satisfying the equation displayed on the screen for all real numbers x and y. This is the so called functional equation. We are supposed to find a function f of single variable x with domain r, where r is the set of all real numbers and codomain, which is also r, and will denote the range of function f, the set that contains all the actual values of function f by r1, which is in general case a subset of r. Since function f must satisfy the functional equation for all real values x and y, we should be able to find some required properties of function f by plugging in certain values of x and y. As the first step, we can determine the required behavior of function f at point x equals 0. For that, we plug 0 for both x and y, and we'll get that f of f of 0 must be equal to 0. Then let's plug 0 for x and f of 0 for y. We'll get the equation 2 times f of 0 equals f of 0 squared. And from this it follows that the only two possible values of function f at point 0 are either 0 or 2. Now let's see what happens if we plug in number 1 for y. It will have f of x in each side of this equation that cancel each other. And the result of that is that x plus f of x plus 1 for any real x is a so-called fixed point for function f. Let's denote the set of all fixed points of function f by r2. R2, in general case, is a subset of set R1, which is a subset of set R. Let's consider the first case when f of 0 equals 2. And let's denote by letter t x minus 1 plus f of x for any real number x. Remember that value of t is a fixed point of function f. We don't know the value of t nor do we know how many different values of t exist. But there is at least one value of t, since function f is defined for any real argument x. And we'll plug in 0 for x and t for y in our functional equation. Using fixed point for y, we'll simplify the resulting expressions that we get in the functional equation after plugging in such value. Indeed, doing so immediately proves that there is only one possible value for t, which is number 1. And going back to the definition of t, identifies the first function f of x, it's f of x equals 2 minus x. By using this definition of function f in the original functional equation, we can easily verify that this function satisfies this functional equation. The second case, when the graph of function f of x goes through the origin of coordinates. If we plug in any pair of real numbers x and y such that y equals minus x, then the original functional equation is transformed into the more simple functional equation f of x plus f of minus x squared equals x minus x times f of x. If we plug in the value x equals minus 1, we will obtain the second point on the graph of function f of x, minus 1 minus 1, so that f of minus 1 equals minus 1. And from that it follows, if we plug in the value x equals 1, that f of 1 equals 1. If we plug in number 0 for y, we can see that when f of 0 equals 0, we have the second type of fixed points of function f. It's x plus f of x. If we denote by t v plus f of v for any real number v, then t and t minus 1 are fixed points for function f. Now let's plug in number 1 for x and t minus 1 for y. 
Since both t and t minus 1 are fixed points for function f, we can replace f of t with t and f of t minus 1 with t minus 1. And that simplifies our functional equation to the format in which we obtain yet another type of a fixed point, value of function f of any real number v plus v plus 1. Now if we substitute minus 1 for y, we can transform this functional equation to the equality f of minus x equals minus f of x for all real x. This is because the expression x plus f of x minus 1 is this third type of a fixed point, so that f of x plus f of x minus 1 can be replaced with x plus f of x minus 1. This result is the key discovery in the solution of this problem. Let's pick any real number t and plug in t for x and minus t for y. Then we'll get our familiar simplified functional equation. And let's get another simplified functional equation by plugging in minus t for x and plus t for y. If we subtract the second one from the first one, we will immediately obtain the equality f of t equals t. This identifies the second function f of x for the case when f of 0 equals 0. Of course, it doesn't matter which letter is used, t or x, as long as it represents all the real arguments. And we can observe that in this second case, when f of 0 equals 0, the set R2 is the same as set R1, and it's the same as the set of all the real numbers. By simply replacing f of x by x, we can check that the original functional equation holds. So the only two functions that satisfy this functional equation are f of x equals 2 minus x and f of x equals x.